Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scrap Man bringing you another episode of Scrap Mecha uh, Scra Mechanic, and today we are looking at the buoyancy mod. So there is this, basically it's a water mod, but there's also air buoyancy as well as water buoyancy. So there's helium, there's water floating and things like that. So we're going to experiment with it, just see how it works and what it does. And you can see I've flooded this world. I actually kind of like how this turned out. I chose this, um, this kind of a cliff here to be like, the sea level point and that leaves us with some like uh islands sticking up over there and we got like the plateaus over there that are kind of sticking up so it's kind of like we have some natural islands in the ocean here and the ocean itself is pretty deep so earlier in this week i did a trail makers video exploring some new water mechanics with a submarine uh seat and building a submarine so i figured let's try to do the same thing in scrap mechanic where everything works completely differently so I honestly have not even touched this mod yet. So we have quite a few blocks here. We've got some helium based parts. We've got water based parts. Uh, we've got like a drag block. So I don't, I don't know exactly how this stuff works yet, which I think is going to be part of the fun of it is me just figuring it out. But uh, first, I, I just want to see we got the helium block. We have this block always pulls upwards on your creation as long as the helium activator is on it. So let me just get an idea of how this stuff actually works. So let me put my lift down. So I'm assuming if I just put a bunch of helium blocks down like this with a helium activator on it, that it should. Well, we're not getting that back. Well, that actually worked exactly as expected, surprisingly. So here, how about one? Is is one helium block enough? Oh, no. Ooh, whoa. 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 It's a little Bobo doll. <laughs> what happens if I hit it with a hammer? All right, we're just going to... um. Eh. Did I really miss? Eh. Oh. <gasps> Wait. Are the helium blocks destructible? I did not realize that. All right, now we put another one on it. Is it... Oh, oh. Uh, uh, it's like almost enough and then oh uh, There it goes. I'm actually gonna hang on to that. It's like that's like legit like a balloon That really looks like a balloon. I like this mod a lot already It's just, it's just like I let go of a balloon. That's great. All right So now let's check out the water portion of it. See how the water actually behaves So this is the water right here. I'm assuming I'm, I'm just gonna fall through it But let's actually build something really quick really small just like that I'm assuming that the weight distributions are the same, so I might need three blocks with the water activator. So the description of the water says that it makes a light blocks float if there is a water activator. So I'm assuming that means that medium and heavy blocks just have no effect whatsoever. So we're going to test that out. So let's go. We're going to put some wood down here. We're going to put some concrete down here. And we're going to put some metal down here. And we're going to see how all of these work with the water mod. Then once we get a feel for it, let's actually try to make a submarine. It's going to be a little bit more interesting to try to build a submarine that can actually like float in the middle of the water, but that's what these ballasts are going to be for. So we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, so let's just try this to start off with, and I guess I'll just hit this over into the water here and hope that- Oh! Whoa! Okay, well that's gone now. <laughs> it's like a little dolphin. It's like a little dolphin. Look at that. All right, I think that's what the drag blocks are for, so let's go ahead and build the same thing and put some- Wow! That thing jumps so much. Let's put some drag blocks on it and see if that helps. So literally the same exact thing, but uh, we're just gonna just put some drag blocks on each corner and hope that this helps us out a little bit here. All right, and go. What? What? What is that? <laughs> that is not what I was expecting. What is... All right, what if... Oh, no. Oh, no. What is that? <laughs> oh, I love playing with these these crazy bods. Oh, this is ridiculous. All right, maybe I put too many on it in, in, a, in a small area. So what happens if I just have two? One there and one there. And then we'll just fill in wood the rest of the way. All right, go. Go! Okay, I guess that makes sense. It's still, this is really, really weird. 
I think I might have to expand this just a little bit. Well, anyway, we know that that floats. So let's do the same exact thing with uh, no drag blocks, but a water block on concrete. Because I want to see if it has any effect whatsoever on the... Oh. All right, well, that answers that question. All right, so this is useful. So this is going to be good because then I can put light blocks on top of the submarine and then use medium blocks for the rest of it, guaranteeing that it's always going to stay upright. So now I'm actually curious. I didn't use the drag blocks on a helium-based creation. So let's put down a... So let's actually make a thing out of helium blocks like this. Let's put down the helium activator and then replace the corners with these drag blocks and see if it behaves like the water one did, but just in the air. All right, and go. Oh, no. Uh. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. What is... What? <laughs> physics. Oh, physics do not... Do not, do not belong in this game. They just, anytime physics tries to happen in this game, it just, it, it, hilarity ensues. Okay, so that's gonna make, it's gonna make building a submarine interesting. That's for sure. So uh, the hard part is gonna be figuring out how I'm gonna shape the submarine. I don't know if I'm gonna build it to look like a real submarine. I might just build my own take on a submarine, kind of like I did in Trail Makers, but something a little bit different. But either way, I'm gonna try my best to have like a glass uh, viewing front area. So this should be interesting. All right, we'll time lapse this. Let's get to it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, we have a rough draft here. Um, I didn't spend too much time on the shaping of this thing, but I just kind of wanted to, you know, just have the basic controls of a submarine. So we should have forward, left, right, and a little bit of pitch control, but I just don't know if this thing is going to be buoyant as is or not. I'm assuming it's going to sink, to be honest. So let's just let it fall off the cliff here and hope that it floats. We have wood on top and a lot more concrete on the bottom. So I'm assuming it's gonna fall, but uh, we'll I'll catch it on the lift and we'll see what happens. Yeah, we're gonna need some more wood. Actually, what we might be able to do, there's this hollow plastic that comes with the, the buoyancy mod and apparently it has double the buoyancy of wood. So if we, pla if we replace all of our wood, or at least as much as we can uh, without breaking things with this plastic, we might have something going for us here. And I should be able to replace most of this. Oh, I broke my tail. Dang it. All right, so now let's see if this does any better. It should be pretty much twice as buoyant. 
nope. Oh, I'm seeing it. I'm, I'm seeing a little bit of an effect now. We just definitely need a little bit more, a little bit more buoyancy. I want it to be relatively neutral before we put the ballast on, because the ballast are what we're going to use. We can add a little bit more weight, and then the ballast can kind of like slowly let us go up or down. I added a lot more plastic to the top here. Let's see how this does. And, oh, 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 is it going to come back up? Whoa, whoa, that looks really close. That is actually surprising. Hmm. We might be... Here, let, let's see what happens if I roll it off sideways like this. Alright, it seems like the tail is definitely more buoyant than the front. Which makes sense, because the front has all that glass, which I think is medium weight. Alright. And... It should come back up. Oh, here we go. Okay. Not what I expected actually. So we have two options now. Either we add more weight in the back or I add more buoyancy up in the front. All right, so I'm going to do a slight combination. I've added a little bit, one more layer up there, just like a slight layer, which I'm going to actually contour just a little bit with some of these blocks here. I'm going to leave the, uh, the water block activator exposed. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of metal right back here to hopefully offset some of this tail weight. All right, so let's see how this does. Float. Please float. Okay. Okay, hmm. The tail is still more buoyant. You know, I think, I really, really think this glass is the culprit here. This is a lot of weight that is not being offset at all by buoyancy. I think we might be onto something. Look at this. Look at this. Now we just need to add a couple of drag blocks on this thing to prevent it from, like, going up and... Oh, wait. No, this is settling down really nice, actually. You know what? Let's get in. <laughs> actually, I just realized... I have to remember that. This is pretty much an invisible just layer of nothingness. And that is just all air down below me. So I cannot swim to this thing. I have to get onto it. Otherwise, I'm going to fall. <laughs> Please work. Oh, oh, that was good. Okay. All right. So now I should be able to go forward. Is this working already way better than I expected? Now we should be... Oh, oh, one of my things isn't working. And actually, that's not working at all, hardly. A little bit, but why is the top one not working? All right, so I've determined that uh, these fins are not very strong at all. Like, if I go to the right here, you can see as we pick up speed, it starts to work. But uh, this is not effective as an underwater rudder, really. Yeah, add oh, well, we're getting caught in the weeds here. Caught in the weeds. And then my up and down ones don't really even seem... Well, I mean, you can see I'm kind of starting to go down, but we're fighting the buoyancy on that. So it's not good for fine-tuning. So we might have to add some, like, some extra thruster control or something if we want some more control with this. So anyway, now we actually have to create some ballasts. We have to use some ballast action going on in which we're going to be able to make ourselves negatively buoyant as well. So now, one thing I did not predict is that these ballasts are actually huge. So we're actually going to have to figure out how to insert them in here. So hopefully we can just carve out like a space up front here for it. Okay, so now I'm hoping that I should be negatively buoyant. All right, that's good. And then if I press that switch, I'm hoping that's going to be enough to lift me up now. And go. Okay, that doesn't seem to be helping. We're going to have to get rid of some metal now. I put some metal here to weigh me down. Now we don't want it anymore. Okay, we've made some adjustments. Um, I've actually changed one of the rudders in the back to be thrusters, because that way it helps with the turning a lot more. Um, I've changed the orientations of the ballast to help it be more level as we go up and down. And I think I've got it pretty good right now. You can see as I let it off the lift... That was unexpected. Oh, as I let it off the lift, what is happening? I want to like, I, I want it to just slowly float down. What is? Okay, there we go. You can see that it has a negative buoyancy and it's very subtle. But now, when I press this button, you can see now we're gonna raise up to the top, and we're actually. Well, I, th I was gonna say we were pretty level, but now that just happened. Okay. 
All right, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. I just kind of, I noticed this earlier, but it's really extreme now. Um, we can't see glass through the water. You can see there's a little bit sticking up right there. The glass is practically invisible when it's underwater. So that's a thing. So now we can, uh, we can just go along the surface here without too much of an issue. And this works. This works pretty well. We can turn much better now. So we're just kind of like a submarine floating on the surface. And then once I press the button, we're making sure we're not going to crash any trees here. Once I press the button, you can see now we dive down below the ocean. And we're actually going level, which is excellent. So I think I've balanced it out pretty well. And if we want to dive down deeper, we can not... Uh, oh no, I just realized I blocked one of my fins with the ballast up here. You know, I can adjust this. And I can tip up just a little bit like that so we can go back up towards the surface even though we have a negative buoyancy. And I can tilt down like that, which is actually a lot more extreme now that I see it. Okay, I'm activating the ballast. Oh, that worked much better. Okay, so it's a combination between activating and deactivating ballasts and to keep ourselves kind of like level or wanting to go up and down. But I don't like how sometimes the tail goes up Sometimes the tail doesn't go up. So that's one thing that I'm not a fan of. But overall, like considering that we did this all in the moment and not a whole lot of time went into this thing, um, I think we did pretty well. We have a working submarine. We can stay at a level at a level depth in the water here. And if we want to go back up, we can activate our ballast and just surface right up. We don't even need any drag blocks, as you can see. If you have something that just floats on top of the surface, that's a little bit easier because you don't have to worry about neutralizing buoyancy and things like that and positive and negative buoyancy. You can just have it super buoyant and you're just going to float on top. Actually, you know what? Let's just do that right now. Let's just make ourselves. Oh, can we? You know, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to build it off of this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build myself a raft to get away from this. Uh, uh oh, 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 OK, that's weird. <laughs> It tilted us that way because of the weight, but then it's also buoyant. All right, you know what else is going to be weird? I'm going to put a water block or water activator in this, and it's going to apply to the entire submarine. So when I put this water activator down here, it's going to double the buoyancy of everything, and it might send me flying. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Now I'm going to put some... Oh, oh, that was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. I'm going to fall off of this thing so hard. Oh, oh, I disconnected it. I disconnected it. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, oh, wait, you know what I can do? Oh, let's see if we could do this. I'm going to build a buoyant raft underwater. And I'm just going to hope I can build it in a way that it'll still work. So let's build that. We're going to put the, uh, the water activator on it. And then we're just going to put some drag blocks on it and hope that it doesn't freak out the way it did before. And you know what? Actually, to make this a little bit more stable, I hope, I'm going to add a layer of concrete underneath it. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully this will get us... Oh, no, 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 I forgot to put... <laughs> forgot to get on it. <laughs> oh, that is terrible. But it looks like it's stable, so we're going to do that again. Here we go. Up to the surface. It's working. It's working. It worked. Oh, okay, now we're below the surface. Now we're above the surface. Now we're below it. Oh, there's our other one right there. And another one way over there. Freaking out. That one doesn't have the drag blocks on it. Okay, now. Can we, um... What if I just hit it with our spud? Oh! I forgot that this was destructible. Okay, let's fill that hole in. We don't want a hole in our raft. Look at our submarine. It looks like it has no face. Can we delete that block? Nope. I'm gonna grab my hammer. Maybe we can hit ourselves over to our submarine. Okay. Oh, except the hammer destroys it. Oh, no. What if I hit the drag block? Does the hammer destroy a drag block? <gasps> no. Okay. That's what we have to do. That's the secret. We have to hit our own drag block. All right. Come on. This, all right. This is make it. All right. Maybe we need more drag blocks because this is this this up and down is not helping me here. So for the very end of the episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build another one of these, but I am going to put a lot of water activator blocks on it to see how far it will shoot us out of the water because the more act water activator blocks we put on it the more it doubles the buoyancy of it so let's save the submarine first and then let's try that all right i'm not even going to put any drag blocks on this thing but i'm going to fill this middle with water activator blocks so this is how buoyant these were up there with just one layer of plastic and now we have two layers of plastic and we have one 
two times is buoyant. Three times or four times? I don't know if this is exponential or not, but we're going to put this many of these in here. This thing is going to be so buoyant. Oh, boy. And as soon as I put my lift down, we're going to go fly it up in the air. We might glitch through this. It might just be too fast. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Huh. What? There it goes. We ended up glitching through it. Oh, it was too much. Oh, we should have put a seat on it. Is this still up in the air? All right, it's coming back down. It's coming back down. Will it come all the way back down, do you think? Uh, nope. Nope, it just bounced right back up. All right, I can do that again with a seat. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. No, what? We didn't even get into the seat, but it kept us on it the whole... Oh, look at the flooded land. This looks awesome. We went so high. We went so high. That was really cool. Oh. <laughs> Man, this thing is strong. You think we can hit the skybox? I have to try that. I have to try to hit the skybox. We're going to do this one more time. All right. This is going to be too ridiculous. It might actually be too much for us to get into the seat. I crashed my game. <laughs> I think I put too many water activators in the thing. I don't know if we're going to be able to recover this. All right, I'm going to try to spawn back into this world. This world might be broken. <gasps> oh, it crashed again. Okay, we broke the world. It looks like we discovered the limit. I don't think we're going to be able to hit the skybox with uh, with water activation blocks. So I think the game's telling us that maybe we should stop experimenting with this mod for now. Let me know down in the comments if there are more things you'd like to see with this mod. I mean, we have all kinds of awesome mods coming out since they added scripting in. We have like the wings mod. We have the propellers mod too. We've got, now we've got this buoyancy mod. We didn't play with helium at all. So how about that? Let's leave some comments about what you'd like to see me do with helium. I mean, a hot air balloon seems to be the obvious thing, but uh, any, any other more creative ideas that you guys have? Leave those down in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite part about this episode was. This has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.